Without knowledge of the four different blood types, for much of human history, blood transfusions were a matter of pure luck, and most patients died when their bodies rejected the incompatible blood. Enter Karl Landsteiner. Born in Vienna, Austria in 1868, after finishing medical school at age 23, Landsteiner initially made his living by performing autopsies at morgues, but in 1898, he began researching anatomy at the University of Vienna. After just three years of work at the university, Landsteiner made his world-changing discovery of the different blood groups. His discovery made transfusions much safer, but one major drawback remained. As blood could not be stored outside the body without clotting, blood transfusions still required the donor and the recipient to lay side by side. Luckily, Richard Lewisohn came up with a solution. Born in 1875, Lewisohn studied medicine in Germany before moving to New York to work as a surgeon. In 1915, Lewisohn found the optimal concentration of the anticoagulant sodium citrate, which allowed blood to be stored safely for several days. Lewisohn's method of storing blood was adopted across the world, and blood transfusions between donors and patients who were great distances away from each other quickly became the norm. Landsteiner later won the 1930 Nobel Prize in Medicine, and Lewisohn devoted the rest of his life to cancer research. The pair's discovery made blood transfusions both safe and practical, and their work paved the way for the worldwide system of blood banks that we know today, which have so far saved over one billion lives. For those reasons, Carl Landsteiner and Richard Lewisohn are undeniably Heroes of Progress.